Hi everybody, I'm Torge Peterson, Software PE at Danfoss Power Solutions. And in this video, I will show you the new software release 2021.2 of Guide, Service Tool and Update Center, also called the What's New. Starting with the extended features and improvements of Guide, followed by the Update Center and Service Tool with some minor changes. Starting with an enhancement in Guide at the screen definition level is Propagate Touches. This new screen definition setting may stop any detected touches from propagating to screen definitions beneath it. So like in my example, where a screen definition called navigation with buttons is on top of the main screen definition. Default setting is false and new and true in already existing screen definitions. If set to false, touches will not propagate. So if I set the propagate touches property inside my navigation screen definition to false, it will detect touches, but will not propagate these to the main screen definition. So the main screen definition will not detect touch signals or status on that navigation area. Another improvement is pen with hand, which has been set to true by default. You can pan by clicking middle or right mouse button. This panning allows you to move around the screen design and if you want to zoom, you can scroll the mouse wheel and it zooms to the cursor position. If you click the home button, it will zoom to 100%. Next small change is the digital displacement node in the hardware tree. As you can see, there is one compliance block already available from the update center and listed after installation in that new subfolder. Another small improvement took place in the area of docking windows. So the four selectable tabs and guide manager, inspector, compiler messages, and selector. Three additional options has been added. One option, or first option, auto hide enabled, tabs display on top of cut area. This is more or less the classic behavior. You can pin windows and you can then move over to display them. The cut is yeah, not affected doing so because the the windows are displayed on top. Zoom in the drawing area will also end up another window. Second option, auto hide enabled, pinned tabs display in line with cut area, unpinned tabs display on top of cut area. That is a kind of um, hybrid mode. Cut area keeps not affected until the window got pinned, which will resizes the cut area. This setting might be helpful when you want to get some tabs pinned and some not. And third option, auto hide disabled, tabs, or tabs display in line with cut area. This setting might be useful if there is no need for auto hide when the drawing area is, uh, for example, big enough. The zoom home fits perfectly between all guide windows. Another small feature extension took place in the PLCC editor. Up to now, when you select text in the PLCC editor, it will select operators after the identifier word. In this example, when clicking on the variable I step, only I step will be selected and not I step and the operators plus plus. The page navigator is currently sorted alphabetically on page name. In addition, it can now also be sorted by execution order according to their X and Y position. It will also be possible to change this setting via the context menu in the page navigator tree and this setting also affects the module viewer, but it will not be changeable from the module viewer. After these small changes, let's take a look to a feature extension called Improved Management of Outdated HWDs, which consists of three main parts. If an outdated HWD is used in the project, the node is shown red in the project manager. If you move over, it says the HWD used for this project is outdated. Right click for options. Option one, update to latest installed HWD version. This option will be visible if a newer HWD version has been installed in Guide already. Option two, download the latest HWD version plus one update center. If the latest version has not been installed yet in Guide, but it is available in the update center, you can easily choose this option to get the HWD version downloaded and installed automatically. During this process, Guide gets closed and needs to be restarted. The update center will start automatically and the used HWD will be subscribed to if it yeah, was not before. After restart of guide, you can choose the new installed HWD version. Another improvement is um, if the sys file of a project has been deleted or missing by accident, the HWD node is shown also in red. When you move over, it says the project sys file is missing. 
right click for option and it provides the option restore missing project hwd an option if you have installed exactly the same version and guide that is used or missing in the project last change in guide in 21.2 relates to the ui ux updates the readability due to some font size and color changes has been increased See the comparison between guide 21.2 and 21.1, which is or was the previous version. The blue color of selections makes a difference and the font size is also worth mentioning. After I showed the guide changes, I will switch to the update center. There a new page in the options has been added to manage and to give the possibility to reduce the number of notifications. On top, there is a new checkbox option called reduce number of notifications. When checked, the update center will not show any notification related to the all items are up to date notification or any triggered notification after manually clicking the refresh button, regardless of whether there are updates available or not. Same for using F5 key to refresh. Also remaining notifications that are still shown uh, are from periodic automatic refreshes when there are updates available for subscribed products. If the option is not checked, then all notifications that are shown in previous versions are still displayed. And in addition, the user can check or uncheck two notification types, display notification when update is complete and display information message when plus one update center is closed. Another new checkbox option has been added under general display latest versions when editing subscriptions. When this checkbox is checked, the latest available version for each product in the edit subscription tree is shown right aligned on the right side of each node that represents a product. At the end of the What's New 21.2 presentation, we will have a short look to the feature extensions inside the service tool, starting with center step points for advanced page design. Before we had this left, right and top bottom snap points, so snapping to edges, but no easy way to achieve center alignment. That's why we entered the center snap points as well. When moving a component, Service Tool will provide blue guidelines or snapping for when the center of the item is aligned with other items. Next extension is more a defect change, optimized undo redo. In previous version, when you came to the point where you couldn't undo anything, the screen flashes and this defect has been fixed. The property setting change component type has been added in previous version already. So in this version, the current uh, used component type is highlighted bold. So pre-selected showing what the current type is. The last extension took place mostly about the incorrect tool key error when scanning and the user gets a notification during system scan if a P1D file has not been opened. Service person new to our tool gets confused when incorrect tool key message appears. That's why first the old description incorrect tool key has been modified with longer description. Please provide the correct tool key or open the correct um, service application and a link to the help wire, the help icon to get to the tool key section in the online help. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One Community Help is available on the Plus One User Forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One Help Desk. Thank you for your attention.